Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to the Auto Legends Deep Dive series. Basically here what we do is we go over the game as it sits at the moment in its alpha stages, go over everything, kind of deep dive everything, and talk about it and give my opinions on it, as well as maybe some of my ideas. So without further ado, let's talk about racing on the 6th Street Bridge. Now racing on this is a little bit different than it would be on the test track or on Tustin, which we'll make a video on soon, at, probably after this one. So the racing here is a bit different, like I said. So let's go for a car that's the same as mine. We'll go challenge. And just to reiterate, this is in alpha stages. Anything can change at any time and probably will over the course of development until the game releases probably sometime next year. So. I think next year. I'm not sure when it actually releases. I bet I can find out just to let you guys know. So with the bots, you can race cash or friendly. If you have a friend in the room or there's another real person in the room, you can also race pink slips or for far more money than 5k. But for right now, there's two versions of racing. There's private and public. Public challenge is just a head-to-head. -head. You end up in a queue line and then go into a spectator mode and you can spectate all the live races. Or there's the private challenge, which is just race right now. You don't have to wait for a queue, it just goes. So right now, we're gonna do a 500 cash bet race and see what we can do. So I'm gonna private race just to get it started immediately. And right away, take into the loading screen. Yeah, the lighting is a little bit weird. They're working on it. Like I said, alpha testing. But I'm not gonna do any sort of you know, pauses during the loading screen. I want you guys to see, you know, how the loading screen is, how quick it is, uh, the time frame for loading a race. And I know, again, all of this is probably going to change. It's probably going to speed up is what they're hoping. They want this to be faster. So in the end, you know, we'll find out soon. But it got my assignment. It's initializing the race. Race config received. And we are on the racetrack, and my headphones are way too loud for me to be able to think. So right away, you'll see it skips a burnout feature, but there are these three little things in the bottom corner. These are little emotes that you can throw at your opponent. A lot more fun with realistic, uh, or racing with another real person. So you do launch the car yourself. They did used to have it that you don't, but there are also two different camera views. You can toggle with C. Uh, you can shift with either shift, W, or up arrow. You can use D or right arrow for nitrous, or Z for nitrous. So there are multiple ways to play this game. But as you can see, here is our little tiny, basically like race uh, time uh, ticket. And you can expand it if you want to, to see more information. So the final is always going to be your reaction time plus your quarter mile time. Your mile per hour is basically also in the real world called a trap speed. So I went 101.82 at the quarter mile with a final of 12.957. My reaction time was 0.339 because I was being a little bit slow. You can also throw emotes here and the other person will see it. My 60 foot 1.79. 330 foot, 5.1. You know, you can see all the numbers here. You can read. You're watching my video. I hope you can read. And then these are the split times. So, like, uh, I was 1.320 seconds ahead at the quarter mile. I was 1320 ahead. Awesome. You can go continue. It'll tell you about the street credit bonus. Now, let's talk about street credit. Street credit for now is just kind of a basic leaderboard item. But in the future, they do want to expand it out. So, as you can see... If we go back to the bridge, it does take a moment, but again, these loading screens will speed up soon. Leaderboard. As you can see, there is a leaderboard of people here, and it does get cut off. I'm sure they'll fix that at a later date. I can't scroll it down. I can only scroll up. That's interesting. But, you know, bugs happen. It's in alpha testing. What do you expect? But these are basically the street credit gained while here on 6th Street, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's do another one. I'll go against this Integra Type R. We'll do a thousand bucks. And 
This time I'll pause it for the loading screen. All right, the race config has been conceived. Oh boy, I almost said conceived. Uh, <laughs> received. <laughs> so as you can see, we are down here. We are racing. This is a ton of fun. Going up a GSR against a GSR. You can rev launch your car. Uh, there is like a recommended spot, but some cars it is better to react somewhere else. Shoot him a noob. And yeah, that's pretty much racing on the 6th Street Bridge. I find it to be a ton of fun. This is probably where I would race if I like wanted to get races done very quickly and just do some quick money farming or quick money races against another person. Because you don't have the burnout to worry about that takes about 10 seconds already away from the actual racing. Did I freeze? I froze. Uh-oh. Oh, nope. There we go. My street credit didn't show up, but that's okay. Again, development. Bugs happen. So, let's do like one or two more races. Let's uh go back. We'll go against the arcs. Resolving. Oh, I'm stuck in a race resolve. Okay. Interesting. BRB. I have come back with a faster car. So let's race... RX-7 versus RX-7. Why not? Let's go 5K. I know against a bot, it's not much of anything, but why not? Let's just see how it goes. So, man, I love the customization visually in this game already. Like, I got the front mount. I got the big wheels. I could raise or lower the car. Got a cool front bumper. Got the cool headlights. Got a custom hood. Got window louvers on the back. The LED taillights. We'll go over customization in probably a future video. Maybe I'll do it in between this one and Tustin. Uh, just to like kind of break up the racing videos. But we are lined up. So this is a good example of a car that I don't launch it where it tells me to. I do it there because of my tuning. And then I don't shift where the green is. And this brings up a great point with racing that the green is a recommendation. It's not necessarily a, hey, this is the perfect spot to shift. And I really hope they give us the ability to move that to where we want to shift eventually, because I think that'd be a really cool thing to have. So some cars are going to have what we call shift points. And it's that, yes, the green area is like a recommended spot to shift, but you might have your car be faster if you shift at a different point. Like I was doing, I was shifting at 8,000. It's faster in this car to shift at 8,000. So I've always wanted to free cam this little area. So we're going to do that real quick. Give me one sec. So it kind of messed up my free cam software. So you're going to have to deal with this being up on the screen, but not much I can do about it. So this is the starting line of where the race is. We fly down the track. And then here's the finish line. Pretty sick. And then here's the cars at the finish line, which is also pretty freaking sick. So we look at it from an angle of about this, I want to say. This looks to be about the correct angle. But looking around, you know, there's the whole city. It's kind of cool that it's in the middle of an intersection. Although, is it just me or is the scale a little bit off? No, it's not. Here's a regular street. No, it's fine. Okay, cool. So, anyway. But yeah, so there's a couple little buildings around here. There's the buildings in the background that we already saw in the last video. Let's see. What else is around here? What's on this billboard? Nothing. <laughs> Got it. But no, it's, a, it, it's cool to see things from different angles. So, I'm going to see about a thumbnail here but i think we're good on the racing on sixth street so i'll talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed and look forward to the next deep dive video